So I wasn't planning on coming back so soon. I was working on season four. Uh, yeah, four years into this. Thank you guys for riding with me. And it's just growing and growing and I truly appreciate it. But there's a lot going on at the moment. So I had to kind of like chime in on this and, and give you the update. So Aaliyah, her album Unstoppable is finally coming. According to Blackground and the post that they made the other day for uh, Aaliyah's 45th birthday, what would have been her 45th birthday, they said that the album Unstoppable is coming and they included the link unstoppablealiyah.com. It doesn't really say much on there. There's just her logo and it says 2024. So I guess we're, we're getting it. I imagine that they reworked the project given the, uh, the amount of negative feedback they got from, um, from the, the Poison track. I enjoyed it, like I stated before, but a lot of people, the, the number of complaints that were coming in on the quality and yeah. And then when the um, the list of the featured artists came out or were leaked, whatever, a lot of people weren't happy with it. So I hope they did something different here. They repackaged it in a way we worked it. There was a producer mentioned recently, I forget his name but he's been posting the masters and all that stuff to songs uh, with different titles. I don't know if they eventually changed the titles and we've heard them before. Or these are fresh, unreleased shit uh, that we've never, never heard. Either way, I'm looking forward to it. I can tell you though, that I'm not 100% excited. I'd be more excited if it consisted of artists or, or producers that we, we know that we love and that we know that Aaliyah would work with again or would work with had she never worked with them before but yeah given the situation is really messy in order to do that we would need the family's approval of the project and we know the situation between them and the uncle someone said that she had like a deal of six albums and this would be the sixth and final album under black ground and that any type of future albums or whatever wouldn't be under black ground i don't know how that works legally um but hopefully like I, I hate to say it that I think this is going to be the last one, but I would love if we get one more that was actually done by the family. I don't know. I just hope that her uncle does well on this and that, you know, Aaliyah's legacy continues to live on. Um, it's been messy. It's been really messy. And it's been a great disappointment for us fans, the way that her everything Aaliyah has been handled. Uh, it's really sad um, and unfortunate, but we will see how this album turns out. And I really hope it's good. I really hope it's good. On to other news, Janet Jackson announced another extension of the Together Again tour for this summer, 2024. She's an, It's a northern tour, some shit like that. Uh, I think tickets go on sale tomorrow, January 19th, if I'm read correctly. It might be February. I read something like that, too. But uh, I didn't go to that one, so this gives me a chance to go. Normally, when she does this, I don't imagine a great change in the show compared to what she just did with the tour. Uh, when she does this, she, she changes a few songs. She takes one out, she puts another one in. That's usually how it goes and it's fine. I get to see it live. Her performance is always top notch and uh, you never know when it might be the last time you see an artist, especially at this age with, with Madonna and stuff. If you have the chance to go see them, go see them. And JLo, okay, let's talk JLo. It's pretty dope that we're talking about Aaliyah, Janet and JLo again in these days and this time. It's not often that you see these names and headlines are making news and and especially all together so this is really dope uh her video came out the other day uh blah, blah, blah. can't get enough and at first you know I, I it's not like i talk shit about it but i was not i wasn't excited for the single but seeing the video i kind of understand why that was the the first single and why it was chosen i have a feeling once i see the movie the visual album that she's putting out on prime on february 16th i think it is i have a feeling i'll understand why that song was chosen as the, the first release off the project uh i feel like it will get better and better dave myers is a part of the is the director of the project so visually this is going to be stunning i absolutely love dave myers his work and when he works with these artists he always manages to bring out the best of them and j-lo is one of those artists visually she delivers always uh so them two together i think we're gonna get some dope entertainment here i'm really curious to see what it does number wise if this movie on streaming services platforms whatever uh, will help the numbers and the attention the album gets because this if it does then this will be a new way for artists especially artists from that time to promote a project seems that's the way people have to go these days is streaming services is like netflix or prime 
do a docu series or something to uh, to back up the the album that they're putting out. And I think this is uh, this is a really dope concept. You know, Michael did this, Janet did this years ago. I'm just looking forward to an artist, especially of like her. She performs and she's known for her performance. So yes, she's not maybe the best vocally, but she definitely comes through when it comes to. Uh, to, to choreography to performance and she performs the hell out of fucking shit so i'm definitely looking forward to that and as for the single like i thought man at first when i heard the clip when it first uh leaked now i like it i fuck with it i'm actually happy that she's it sounds like she's sticking to j-lo sound like she's not trying to do the trap shit that i was worried she was going to try and do yet anyways we haven't heard the full album but so far with the first single it sounds it sounds promising man uh so so february 16th this is me now i'm prime anyways guys i am coming back with season four very soon i got a bunch of interviews and different segments life segments especially about like mental health and just like real life situations relationships and whatever the fuck i got other co-hosts coming through uh giving their advice their suggestions their experience and things and we're just gonna shoot the shit that's gonna be more focused on the podcast for spotify uh on available on all streaming platforms i'll show clips in, on youtube here uh but i will direct you to that so you can give it a full listen i won't bore you with my shit and as for the entertainment hot topics i will be back i will keep giving you the goods Alright guys, you know the deal, like, comment, subscribe, until next time.